everybody welcome to my video um welcome to my first video my name is stephanie and this is a brand new channel for me obviously as you can tell um i have a channel already but i made the name when i was in middle school i think and i changed it to so it originally was something else i changed it to my name but it never sorry i just realized i've been looking over here the whole time um, but it never actually changed the name on it. Uh, so I stopped uploading on that and just created a new channel. I thought that, well, I really wanted to straighten my hair and do something with this frizz mop ball on the top of my head. I washed it yesterday, threw it up in a bun, and it's still partially wet, kind of. Like, there's just a small portion of it that's wet, but whatever. I wanted to do something with my hair because... I hate having frizzy hair. Anyway, long story short, I wanted to talk about psychology and astrology and just a hodgepodge of things. I want this channel to be like lifestyle-ish, but with also, but also with like sit downs and talking about things and just random daily whatever life. I have a one-year-old, so it could be things about being a mom or childhood or, you know, children, or I love makeup and doing my hair, although you wouldn't be able to tell that from my day-to-day -day appearance. Um, that is something that I do enjoy. I, believe it or not, love looking at clothes and fashion and stuff, but I have no sense of fashion whatsoever. Um, I love home decor. I love just a variety of things. That's what I want this channel to be. So I hope that you stick around. Um, I am going to try to film as many videos per week as I can. Um, but I do work full time. And like I said, I do also have a son. Um, and right now I live with somebody. So it's just when I have the free time and when nobody's home. So I'm going to quit rambling. I've been rambling now for almost three minutes and let's go ahead and get into this. Okay. So I'm going to take this down. I'm going to spray my hair. Um, I have naturally curly to wavy hair and I've tried doing like my natural curly hair, like the curly girl method didn't stick to that for very long. I just like, I love curls, but I love them to look sleek. I don't know. Um, but I'm using this Kristen S. Style Assist Blow Dry Mist uh, for all hair types, ultra lightweight, split end smoothing, shine enhancing, cuts drying time. I'm just gonna use it on my hair. I'm trying to use it all up. I'm not a fan of it, but I hate throwing product away. So I'm just gonna get my hair spritz and sorry if I'm not looking directly at the camera I'm looking like over here this is the only camera that I have or mirror that I have out here so Let's go ahead and get started. So, like I was saying, I wanted to talk about some psychology. I am not a psychology major. I don't have any um, experience in the field. I haven't taken any psychology classes. I just genuinely like reading about psychology and learning about psychology. It interests me. A few years ago, I did the love language test to see what my love language was. And my top one was words of affirmation. And I recently, well, like within this year, maybe late last year, 
into this year, I learned about the attachment theory. And if you don't know, the attachment theory is basically from the time that you're little, when you're a child, it's how you attach to um, like your parents or whoever is. Oh gosh, why am I losing my train of thought? Whoever you're around most, whoever you kind of attach to, it's how you how you attach to them. So if your parents, um, and I know this is kind of controvers controversial, but kids who are parents who let their kids cry it out, um, the kids stop crying eventually because they know that nobody is coming in there for them so they're basically like on their own so they learn to deal with things on their own and they take that into adulthood so instead of depending on people or being able to depend on people they feel as though they have to do everything themselves because um from a young age they were that was instilled in them and i'm not arguing i'm not here to argue with anyone um but feel free to do your own research as far as the cry it out method or anything like that and how it actually can traumatize um children and set them off to a I don't know how to word this off to a I don't want to say worse life but um because each attachment style obviously has its downsides um but you know there's different challenges that come from it throughout life I personally have an anxious attachment style, so I always assume the worst. And my love language is words of affirmation, so if I'm not verbally hearing um, confirmation that everything's going to be okay, or you know, whatever in whatever situation, then I really start to panic. Um, and I will just self-sabotage and then go off it goes on from there um there is another i believe there's four but for some reason off the top of my head i can only think of three there is the anxious attachment style um the avoidant attachment style the secure attachment style and then i really want to say there's one more but i can't recall it off the top of my head but I'm curious what attachment style you guys are and um, if you've noticed it playing into your love language. Um, and if you're also curious, there are, I believe it's five, yeah, five love languages. There is physical touch, um, gifts, words of affirmation, acts of service. Um, I really should have came prepared because I don't remember the other two. Words of affirmation, physical touch, gifts, acts of service, and there's one more. But I just can't recall it off the top of my head. But I'm curious if you've noticed that it plays into that. Um, or if you've noticed that your, you know, I'm really curious to know if your birth chart, your Enneagram, which I need to take again because I, I've taken that test like four times and 
every single time I tell myself I need to write down what it says, which Enneagram number I am, but I never do. I need to take that again. But I'm curious to know if your astrology, your Enneagram, your love language, and your attachment style all go hand in hand with one another. Because that would be very interesting. But I just wanted to come on here and just chit chat. I'm bored. My son's sleeping. I wanted to get my hair straightened. And I figured, you know what? I need to get rolling on this new channel if I'm ever planning on creating content for it. So I figured, why not talk about something prevalent? Something that I've actually been reading into and figuring out recently. I'm um, practicing with the law of attraction too. See, my biggest thing with the law of attraction is I know you don't have to write it down. Like there's different ways to do the law of attraction. There is no right or wrong. It's whatever. It's whatever you feel most drawn to. But a lot of people write things down so that way it forces them to remember to speak that into existence day to day. And I know you're probably thinking, well, if it's something that you really want, how do you forget to speak it into existence? Well, you know, sometimes, sometimes we're just lazy. We'll say that. But I don't know. I've been this way all my life. I was never one of those people who could have like a journal or a diary or anything like that because I am terrified of people reading my stuff. I don't know what it is. I just, even if I know nobody's gonna look through it, I'm like, but yeah, what if? What if I were to like, I don't know, get into a car accident and end up in the hospital and people are going through my stuff and they end up reading it and they're like, what the frick is this girl? I don't know. It sounds so stupid to say out loud, but hey, what did I tell you? Anxious. But anyway, I um so I never write down things that I'm trying to manifest. I always try to keep it in my subconscious or in my conscious and remind myself daily to speak it into existence and be grateful for it and then let it go because that's how it works. You see yourself having that thing. You feel as though you have it. You speak as though you have it. Um, you show your gratitude and appreciation for it and then you let it go into the universe and you know, don't sit there and dwell on it all day. And if it hasn't happened days or even weeks or months from when you originally said it, then, you know, it's probably because you're not actually letting go of it. You're probably still holding it somewhere like, man, it's still not here. It's still not here. But I don't know where I was going with this originally. But is anyone else like that? Like you are just terrified to keep a journal or a diary or anything like that because you just don't want anyone to read your stuff. Like even if you have your own place or whatever and you still just won't out of fear that someone could read it. Uh, Sometimes I don't know why I am the way I am. Oh, I don't even know. I don't even know. 
this year has been crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. But I'm sort of grateful for it though. I'm not sort of, I am grateful for it. This year has really caused me to take a step back and evaluate a lot of things. Um, a lot of work that I've needed to do within myself that I would not have done or looked into or even acknowledged had the things in my life not gone the way that they went. Um, we'll just keep it at that. So this year has definitely, I know been not easy on a lot of people. And I am here to say that this year was faced with many challenges and ups and downs, difficulties, unexpected things happening, so on and so forth. But I am grateful. I am truly grateful because like I said, I've really been needing to do this inner work, um, but I've been putting it off for so long. Sorry, I just, okay. Oh, I really should do something else with my hair. I should like curl it or something. It's just, I really need to do something with my hair, like either cut it. I really want to cut it and dye it or do something with it, but it's so expensive to get your hair done. That's one complaint I have is, especially if you have darker hair, because I love, um, We're gonna have to bobby pin you down, I can tell already. Back to the days when I had uh, short bangs. My baby hairs are still growing out after having my son. Oh, I should say they're growing back. Finally, okay, we'll just have to leave it like that. It is what it is, but what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying now. Oh yeah, I love um, like a balayage or an ombre on dark hair where it goes from dark to a lighter color, like a blonde or even a, um, I don't care too much for yellow blondish, but like the white cool toned blonde, I think that looks really pretty. It's just, man, hair care ain't cheap. Hair styles, hair cuts ain't cheap. That's one I don't get. Can somebody explain to me why men's haircuts are like $5 and women's haircuts? for them to just trim your hair starts off at like $15, $20. Like I'm not asking you to shampoo and condition and blow dry my hair. I'm just asking for a trim. Why is it so expensive? Why? I don't get it. I really don't get it. So I just trim my own hair. Um, but I really want to do something with my hair. I really should. Because my hair just makes me sad. It just makes me sad. Uh, eventually I will. Eventually. Alright. Well, I think I'm going to hop off of here. Take out my hair straight and he's still sleeping. I'm going to try to get this edited before uh, he wakes up. 
so that way I can at least get a start. Oh, sorry for all the burps. Excuse me. So I can at least get a jump start on this channel um, and start finding people because you gotta start somewhere. Gotta start somewhere. Oh, and if you have any book recommendations on psychology or philosophies or astrology or spirituality or anything like that, leave them down below. Um, I'm currently reading right now Think and Grow Rich. Very good book, by the way. I'm only about a quarter of the way through, but very good. And my brother-in-law gave me a few book recommendations. I'll share them with you guys. One's called The Richest Man in Babylon. That's also on my reading list. He said he's read that at least 40 times. Um, he loves it, highly recommends it. So I'm going to pick that one up after I finish Think and Grow Rich. Um, hopefully I'll finish that book this week. And then I also picked up an attachment theory workbook. And I read completely through that in one day. So I'm going to pick up the book called Attached and it goes further in depth on each attachment style. So that's currently where I'm at. But I want your guys' recommendations down below on good books you've read or good recommendations you've heard lately. Whatever the case may be, just share them. Who knows? Maybe someone else um, will really like to check it out or could benefit from it you never know all right I'm gonna stop babbling and get off of here because I could just ramble on and on and on about absolutely nothing uh so thanks for watching you guys uh but don't forget to subscribe please I would really really love to have this channel end up being a source of income for me that's my that would be my ultimate goal if I could work for YouTube or work on YouTube or, you know, be a content creator. I don't know exactly what people call it nowadays. Um, but if I could make a full-time income on YouTube, I would just, uh, I would be so blessed. <sighs> because I could spend more time with my son and do more things and travel and yeah, it would be awesome. So if you were curious on how that can happen, YouTube for you to start making revenue, which is money from ads on YouTube, you have to have at least a thousand, or you have to have a thousand subscribers minimum, and you have to have 40,000 hours of watch time. Yes, four zero 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 hours of watch time within a 12 month time frame, you have to meet both of those requirements and then you can submit your channel for a review. They go over everything, make sure that, you know, you meet the requirements and then you can fill out the information to make revenue from Google ads. So, so if you subscribe or if you watch the video all the way through i really really appreciate it so much all right thank you guys for watching and i'll see you in my next one bye guys